Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I will walk you through how to use Yahoo Finance like a pro. So whether you are tracking your favorite stocks, researching a company or analyzing the options data. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. Now, if you don't have a Yahoo account yet, you can just use my affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also get some rewards or discounts depending on the latest offers. So without further delay, let's get started. So to begin with, you need to simply just either click on the link that is given in the description or you can also open your web browser and search for finance.yahoo.com. Now, once you are here on this page, you will see this type of big search bar here in the top. So this is where you can type the name of the company or the stock symbol and then you can hit enter in order to know more details about it. Now if you want to access more features like wish list or watch list or your portfolio related options, I would highly recommend you to first of all sign in into your Yahoo account. For that you can click on the sign up option in the top right hand corner provide your email address, verify it, create a strong password for your account and then you can simply log in over here on this page. Now here, as I said earlier, you need to use this search bar in the top in order to search for the news symbols or any companies over here. For example, let's say I want to research the Apple stock. So I'm going to type the abbreviation of Apple stock, which is AAPL. So after hitting the enter as you can see over here it has shown me this type of section where we will go through each one of these tabs and these options one by one so that you could know how you can do and your research and get the best out of the yahoo finance so here by default as i said earlier you will be landed here on this summary tab so this will be the quick snapshot of the particular stock that you have selected over here you will see its current price uh, up and the down of this particular stock and next we have the option of following and add into the holdings over here you will be able to see its chart and you can also just take a look at the volume options as well if you just scroll down a bit you will see the bid and the ask price uh, other details like uh, the market cap volume and the average volume you will also just check out the pe ratio and earning dates and if you click on the view more option you will be able to just uh, take a look at all of the news relating to the stocks that you have selected so if you are just looking to check how a stock is doing today this tab is where uh, most of the essential info lives so here the next tab that we have here is the chart tab so if you just click on this chart tab you will be able to analyze the stocks very easily so this is going to give you the live interactive chart of the stock price over time over here you can first of all make it big for that click on this arrow option and it will um, open something like this so this will be the full screen view over here in the left hand section you will see a bunch of different time frames like one day five days one month three months six months etc so depending on the type of analysis you want to do you can select the time frame and then you can just put your technical skills on top of that chart now here you can also add the technical indicators like uh, moving average rsi bollinger bands etc uh, for that you can just simply uh, go to the indicators tab over here and you can search for any of the indicators most commonly used indicators will be available here like uh, rsi MACD, um, bollinger bands uh, moving average etc so you can just choose any of these and it will come here on your chart just like this then you can also compare one chart against the other for that you can just click on this comparisons option and uh, here you need to select uh, the other stock or other particular market which you want to compare your stock to so you can compare against other stock and uh, indices so here you can type the name and it will show you the comparison view over here now if you want to draw a support resistance a trend line 
uh, on top of your chart you can do that by clicking on this draw option in the top right hand corner of the screen from here you can select the lines or the trend lines and you can put it here on the chart and you can do the technical analysis of your chart now as you can see we have the candle view of the chart so if you want to change the view as well you can do it by clicking on this drop down menu in the top right hand corner and here you can select it as bar chart mountain or candle is the most commonly used so you can select this as well so if you are into technical analysis this is the most useful section that you need so it is quite responsive and it is going to give you a solid visual of the stocks movement now the next tab if we just talk about if we just go back over here on the on the page you will see the uh, conversations option so if you click on the conversations option this is like a community chat where investors leave the comments and uh, short updates so you will get mixed opinions about uh, the particular stock that you have selected so you can just take notes of everything like what people's opinion about the stock and you will get the insight of it very easily so if you click on the statistical tab this is the more valuable uh, information that it is it is going to give you so over here you will see the evaluation measures of the stock uh, like if i have selected apple so it is going to show you the market cap the pe ratio the peg profitability margin return and assets and for the uh, equity quarterly and annual revenue insider and the institutional ownership so it is a gold mine if you want to understand the financial health of the company without dividing into the reports so this particular statistical tab is for the long term investors who have some knowledge about all the stats uh, about the particular stock now here if you go to the historical data you will see the history of that particular stock like when it was high when it was low everything so this particular section is also very important if you are into investing in the stocks now if you go to the financials tab you will get access to your income statements the balance sheet and the cash flow over here so each of these reports is available in the annual or the quarterly format you can just expand the individual uh, line items for deeper info it is great if you are comparing the companies or if you need to build a thesis on the future performance then uh, if you go to the analysis tab you will be able to basically just take a look at the earning per share revenue and other analysis analytics about this particular stock if you go to the options tab uh, you will see this particular tab is also one of the powerful tools on yahoo finance it is going to basically show you the current option contracts for the stock and uh, you will see the stock's name the last trade date the strike price and uh, the bid and the ask price open interest and bunch of other details so by default it show you the call options but you can also toggle to puts and uh, option traders can use this data to plan their strategies like uh, covered calls spreads and tradles and now here if we talk about the other tabs so here you can see the news tab if you click over here you will just check out the news of the uh, stock that you have selected uh, next we have the historical data so as i have shown you that in the historical data you will be able to basically just take a look at the weekly daily and the monthly stock prices uh, going back years if you go to your profile section you will get the basic info about your uh, sector the industry the employees and bunch of other details if you click on the holders option you will be able to see all the institutional investors mutual funds and insider holdings so this is the complete overview of how you can use yahoo finance for researching the stock for analyzing the options and tracking the company's performance so if this video helped you out make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching